to start over and we have to sacrifice and give up what we created to bring something completely new and we're going to make this better than what we created whether you see it now or not because the reality is that was what the attitude error was. The attitude error was nothing like you had ever seen in professional wrestling before. And guess what? Wrestling fans were up in arms about it. My father genera- my, my, my father couldn't stand it. He's like, I just don't like this. Like, and now my uncle, my, my cousin, who was just as crazy about wrestling as we were, he's like, yeah, I prefer WCW because WCW had more of a classic feel to it sometimes. They gave you the NWO stuff, but they gave you, it was all wrestling based. And WWF went over the edge, no pun intended. Right, yeah. you see the same thing with NXT. Sure, I didn't. I wasn't a fan of it at first, but it's a reality that we have to. It's like we're too old to be holding on to what's in the past. At the end of the day, we watched Vince McMahon blow up the new generation. We watch him orchestrate a deal for Bret Hart to go to WCW. That's one of his biggest superstars. You know, mm-hmm. we watched him say, "Shawn Michaels, it's time to wrap up. It's time for you to go home." And we had this conversation early in the week. I said, yo, imagine if, if we were watching wrestling at that time and WCW was winning. WCW was the number one professional wrestling organization on the planet at the time. And we find out through dirt sheets that Vince McMahon told Bret Hart he can't honor his contract and he's negotiating a deal for him to go to WCW. Then he told Shawn Michaels, it's time to wrap this up. It's time for you to go home because you're not healthy. We would have said, oh, Vince has lost his mind. He's crazy. Those are his two biggest superstars in the last five, six, seven, ten years. And now he's telling them, Oh, yeah, they're definitely going out of business. Vince McMahon is old and out of touch. But what did that make room for? Stone Cold Steve oh, Austin. Oh. It, who did, what did that make room for? The Rock. We're still riding waves from Stone Cold and The Rock today. Right? So don't think that Triple H is unfamiliar with blowing up his own creation to decide to go in a different direction because he had to. If you got a problem with the way NXT lost its luster, you can blame Tony Khan for that. Ooh. Because once AEW stepped into the arena and they were doing the same thing NXT was, they created a third brand. Well, guess what? The independent superstar was no more because one of these professional wrestling promotions is going to snatch up anything hot right now on the independents. Right? Mm-hmm. And, and if you don't believe me, look what happened at Ring of Honor. They got depleted because once WWE proved that, oh, guess what? They're embracing our style of professional wrestling somewhere, which was NXT. They weren't staying there any longer. Because because at the end of the day, they will become superstars, even in developmental, because that's what it is at the end of the day. So Triple H decides, okay, hey, man, we got to blow this up. Vince McMahon and Bruce Pritchard are like, look, we're we're tired of you creating something that lasts in NXT. But then at the end of the day, guess what happened? These people are making a name for themselves and they're going elsewhere. So that's bad for business. So now when the business folks got to get involved, they say, well, shoot, we got to go back to the old way. Let's start from scratch. Let's not keep going after what the hottest wrestler in the pros. Let's go after the athletes. Let's start creating our own stars because guess what? Let's not pretend like they haven't had success doing that in the first place. So when Braun Breaker kind of came onto the scene, young, fresh, and I've heard nothing negative about his upside. Mm-hmm. When you got an old school guy like Jim Cornette said, I've never seen anything like Braun Breaker since Rock. Jim Cornette saying that? Jim Cornette doesn't like anything. <laughs> nothing new. <laughs> nothing new. <laughs> You know, Jim Cornette misses his gen- he misses his era of professional wrestling. That's his whole thing. Mm-hmm. Like people like J- Jim Cornette is out of touch. He may be, but that man misses what he knew as professional wrestling. That's why he's very hard. That's why he's very critical. That's why half the stuff he says doesn't seem to make sense in this generation because it doesn't. It just doesn't fit. So, Braun Breaker kicking that X man. It I loved every bit of it. Why do we embrace it when Cody Rose destroys Triple H's throne? But Triple H is destroying his own creation and saying, we got to start something. We got to do something different. The black and cold is gone. Nobody else out there can hold up that brand like the people that came before them. It was already going to be a watered down version of what we saw. And the reality is in that way, in the, in front of those audience, a lot of those superstars weren't making it to the main roster to be big time stars. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the ones you can get credit for, we've talked about it before, were the women. If, if NXT did anything, it created female superstars. Because all the female superstars that we enjoy in WWE right now, they came from NXT. Mm-hmm. All the single stars, that's debatable. A lot of those guys didn't make their name in NXT. They just got that exposure there. And a lot of them fizzled when they got to the main roster. For one reason or another. We're not here to discuss that. I don't work for WWE. And they don't pay me to. So for Braun, so 
when Braun Breaker kind of he kind of broke, he kind of stormed into the scene. Like he just he made a noise. And it seemed like it was by accident. And then before you know it, he changed his look. He shaped some things up and they said, this is the guy. He's the leader of this new generation. We're bringing all new faces. We're developing all new stars and we're kind of going back to the old way. If you look at old FCW stuff and you look at early NXT where they had main roster guys come down and working with some of the young talent where you had young talent showing their faces on the main shows, you're getting mad because the brand is changing. But at the end of the day, they're trying to incorporate their developmental guys better to the main roster and they got to work together. That's the only way they're going to survive. What good is it that I love NXT, I love NXT, I love NXT, but then those guys don't make it to the main roster because Vince McMahon doesn't understand that. So then he takes his top guy, he takes his most trusted ally, his right-hand man, Bruce Pritchard, and says, okay, look, I'll go down there and I'll give you my two cents because I know what's going to work on the main roster because we got to start incorporating. If I can see for myself what works, we can start developing new ideas. They're not waiting anymore for those guys to be NXT superstars. If they're good enough, they're bringing them up. Mm-hmm. Rich Holland already paired with, with Sheamus. Already working with Cesaro. Yep. We just saw AJ working with a guy. We just seen uh Riddle working and with that's guys. AJ Styles. Like we're, seeing, we're seeing young talent really being groomed this time for the main roster, not to be NXT superstars. Mm-hmm. And you say, well, it worked before because it was a third brand. You don't need a third brand because guess what? Miss McMahon loves professional wrestling. You got AEW now. They have competition, they have something they can push towards. There's a place for these people to go. If things don't work out in WWE, they can go back and develop in their own stars. Braun Baker kicking that X was symbolic because the old way is gone. And guess what? We have to embrace it because we're looking at the stars of the future. And guess what? It took us about, a, it took me, you know, I can't speak for nobody. It took me a little while, mm-hmm. but I see it now. Because you don't like change. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I can't. You be said stuck, that. I can't be stuck yeah. in my ways. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like when something is good, I don't like it to ruin it, but. You know, I'm quick to say, okay, let me give it a shot. It didn't make sense for us. But as I see things tweak, I said, we NXT 2.0 has a handful of household names already. And these are all brand new faces. Not guys working with Kyle O'Reilly. Not guys working with Adam Cole. Not guys beefing with Austin Theory is a household name now. 